everyone, Pug Owned again and I am back with a golden retriever that I called Mochi. And he is really, really cute, I think. <laughs> and his personality is he just wants to cuddle and be your friend. Okay, so I started with the golden retriever that they have in Cass and though it's really, really cute, it is really sweet. I didn't think it resembled a retriever that much so I set about stripping it back and modeling it and then painting it and you will see that he goes through quite a few different paint jobs because I could not work out how to get him to look like a retriever so we went through lots of different combinations of colors so we tried this like fawn color but it just wasn't working as try as I might and I really did I just couldn't get it I just couldn't get it to work so I as I always do started with the eyes and was really trying to get some expression into his eyes but when I was laying on the paint it was just going really smudgy and speckly so he just looked speckled. It was very, very strange. And then I'm trying to get the mouth details right. And what I do with that is I go back to the modeling stage, the sliders, hit the detail edit mode, and I'll pull his jaw out so I can get the lips on the inside. So we are checking out how he looks with this color. And I was like, no. So on to the next. Then I thought, oh, I'll do him a really, really, really light fawn. And I was like, okay, that might work. Trying it, trying it, no. I didn't like it. Just did not like it. I just couldn't see how to get the detail in without it looking too heavy. So it was all change again in a moment, but I like how he turned out, what I went with in the end, but yeah, so once again it was another frustrating one, but it's just perseverance and trying things, so that's what I do is I normally just keep at it, keep at it, try, 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 and then if I don't like it I'll repaint and start again, and that's what I did with him. So I just kept going and I went back to that beautiful goldy red and then I was too worried he'd look like an Irish setter I was like no so I had to work out how to keep that retriever look about him so it was back to the eyes and working on those and laying in the face details working out where they go so lots of highlights, low lights, trying to define his socket area, his cheekbones, things, working on the muzzle again. And I had a little trouble with it, not much, but at this stage I was just like, you are going to be this colour, I am going to make it work. It was the third colour attempt, or the fourth I think. And just laying in the details now to shade down his muzzle and try to make his eyes pop. So it's a lot of detail work. It's, um, but I think I got it. I think I got that. I'm just gonna have a sip of my tea. I earned it today, <laughs> I earned my tea. Sorry about that, I'm slurping it. <laughs> I just slurped my tea. So trying to get the top of his head right because they have that beautifully sort of squared forehead and I was working out oh I think this is, might have been where I went out to visit the chickens and forgot I was filming so please excuse his static pose there yep I went out and I forgot I was filming so sorry about that so still bringing out his face details and then I'll start shading in on the ears soon and 
just trying to blend it so it looks fur-like because I was having so many problems before with the bleeding and it just whatever I did to him just wasn't working but it started to come together around here and now I'm trying to work out how to get his coat uh, more defined but without heavy brush strokes so this was a lot of just going in and fine detailing to get the length of the fur so I was highlighting and low lighting and yeah lots and lots of brushwork loads of it but so this is me starting on his body. I think it is. I think I'm looking. Yeah, it is. So that's his ears coming together. And his body should be soon. Oh, please don't tell me I forgot to film it. I may have. Oops. No, here you are. So that's me laying in for the body. And this is how he started. And this is him all finished. I was really happy how the coat turned out and his face and his face. And I made him smart, a hunter and friendly okay i'm going to hop out here if you would like me to make something and you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe bye bye